Now we we get him ground on the ground game very closely and observing the way the war is unfolding you you can see it's not just ambazonia crying though we are not interested in what is happening with what is happening in neighboring french cameroon but the war requires financing cameroon is not telling the truth using their own media platform they're not telling the truth to their own people and even as we speak barista fru um the economy is dying down where do you think la republic du cameroon is getting or getting some of this funding or what could possibly be in their mind as they are not even willing to give up and come fought for a negotiated settlement we're going to get well, to the ground. We, we also have something to talk about the ADF. Um, we are receiving reports of some they have killed someone else. They continue to kill. We'll get to that. Don't rush into that. We'll also tell you what the Abazonian Restoration Forces are doing and what you should expect from them in the days ahead. But that aside, Cameroon is not showing any sign, especially when you look through their media, they are not demonstrating any uh, symptom of surrender. Nowhere. Well, you don't expect them to 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 show symptoms of surrender. They are decaying, and and the way the, the way the, the way the government is behaving now is they are gathering every little penny that they can get for themselves. They are no longer interested in the development of their country, not to, to talk less of, of any kind of development that they had envisaged for Ambazonia, because I don't know of any. For the 62 years that they have occupied Ambazonia, they only come and take, take, they take from Pamol, take from CDC, take from take Timba, take everything, but they have never put back a penny. That is our story for the last 62 years. But for them, it is becoming clear that that government will not exist for a very long time. Because, I mean, the decay, even in the capital city, it's, 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 it's a sore to the rest of the world. What that means is that, you heard the report, the minister, a minister is saying they have they, they have estimated 14 million, 14 billion to fill the potholes. Can you imagine? She's not even talking about building the roads, but filling potholes. That's not building. And that they have only 1 billion. My God. The rest of the money that they collect from our crude, from our, from our, from the crude oil they are getting from us. Because that's their only source of that's their only major source of financing, and that's only enough to 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 to, to fill their pockets and to and to eat sumptuously. There is nothing else that they do for the people. And you can imagine I, a friend of mine told me that the port of Douala is a sore. That is where money is supposed to be coming, but it has been neglected to the extent that. The potholes in the port of Douala are, in, are, are unbearable. It's the same thing. That is not a country that is living. I don't know how they are going to continue to survive. They don't show any signs of surrender, but let me tell you, Paddy, they have surrendered. They have surrendered. But for the fact that they are using little crumbs to entice the poor, the coup plotters and the and the black legs and the traitors from our territory to stop us from doing what we have to do but it is not working for them because we are getting there we are getting there we will flush them out militarily we have won them because they they they, they try not to come to, to territory to fight but there are still pockets that they come and they get a black eye and they run away. But let me tell you, diplomatically, we are winning them. Militarily, we are winning them. 
Whether they surrender or they don't surrender, it is clear. Everybody, the whole world is saying that the place is collapsing or has already collapsed. They have an old man who does not hear, does not speak, does not do anything. And you cannot, that's a place where there's no power. There's a power vacuum right there in Yaoundé. Nobody is in charge. Everybody who calls himself minister is in charge of his own Gary. He's not in charge for the people. And since 2018, there have been no cabinet reshufflement because there's nobody to do the cabinet reshufflement. There's nobody who, who knows who thinks. And there's nobody who has responsibility. The whole place is in a mess. And you tell me that they have not surrendered. Wow. There's, there's been no cabinet reshufflement, but when they, the, the, the coup in the Gabon occurred, a few hours later on, there was a military reshufflement. Military yes, is not but that is... That, it's not a government no, willing no. to the people, but willing to stay a AG money. Am I correct? Yes, they are doing that. They did that to calm down the army so that they continue to stay, the regime continues to survive, to continue to eat for the time that they have to. And since the army is a militia rather than a republican army, they can manipulate them any way they want. Yeah. If it was a republican army, do you think Cameroon would still be standing at the, at the stage at which they are? I don't think so. And I mean, it is impossible. It is virtually impossible for any Republican army to continue to maintain a regime of that nature against the people. But because it's a militia, at least for now it's a militia, until they prove us wrong, they continue to, uh, to, to perpetuate these people in power. That's why they did the resolvement just to say, okay, well, we, are, we, we know you, we, we are with you. We, we, they shared the post around and created something that would uh, 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 protect them until the day, the day that they will be running away. And I can assure you, Paddy, they cannot continue for too long. Yeah. Because they are not getting money from anywhere. Uh, but we know that, we know that um, they are associating themselves with, with Russia because of funding and this and we I'm, I'm digging so deep into this warming the ground before we get into what is happening in no, no 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 listen uh, no 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 listen buddy russia is at war russia does not have money to do to do to do this up when it itself it needs money to fund its war but russia, russia is under russia, 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 russia is yes they are willing towards russia it's like it's like it's like when you see when you're holding a snake so that so that it, it may not be it may not be able to bite you they are sinking they are looking for a way to anchor they are now going to russia because the western world including even their france has abandoned them yeah. now they are looking at russia they are looking at russia why would a country look on another one when we have look I, as i said before africa is the most the richest continent in the world but it is the poorest because of the mentality of the people that the colonial powers have installed have perpetrated on africans look at look at beer 90 91 years old 41 years in power and i tell you he doesn't see, he doesn't understand anything anymore. He doesn't do any work, but everybody's using his name, Le President de la République, to all the instruction, all this and that. <coughs> if there was old instruction, why has that old instruction not worked for at least the city of Yaoundé? For at least <coughs> to change some ministers, for at least to let the world know that that government is functional. because. You go to Yaoundé now that you want to see the President of the Republic. You are from <coughs> one of the most important countries in Europe or in America or anywhere else that you want to see the President of the Republic. You will not because he's not available. It's an embarrassment. It's a vegetable. <laughs>